Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring a high-speed 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And this was sent to me by one of my subscribers, Will from America. So thanks heaps for that. You can check out my recent unboxing video to see me unboxing this car. These cars were sold as promos with Reader's Digest magazine. I'm not exactly sure what years. Maybe somebody can let us know in the comments down below. Taking a look at this example, you can see it hasn't exactly been kept as a collector's car. Looks like it's seen a bit of playtime action. It's missing plenty of paint. It's missing the wheels there. Luckily, the windscreen's in pretty good condition. So we'll crack on and take it apart. There's two posts to drill out. And then I can remove the base. It's a plastic base. And there's these axles and wheel hubs. Pretty skinny axles there. The interior, green plastic. They did actually have interiors the same color as the cars generally. And then there's a little wee short post holding the windscreen in, which I'll carefully drill out without drilling through the roof of the car. Then I can carefully pry it out. There it goes. A little bit cracked right in the center but you won't be able to see that when it's all put back together and here's the casting it's all just one part ready for some paint stripper so I'll paint on some paint stripper There goes all the paint bubbling up and here it is once I've washed it all off with some water. Next I give it a clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel. And here it is after burnishing what a great casting. I don't need to do any filing or sanding to this. It's got really sharp details. The only other thing I did to it before painting was to drill and tap the posts so I can put it together with some little screws later on. I'm using a 1.7 millimeter drill and a 256 tap and screws. Next, I gave it a coat of grey primer. I'm going to use some Vallejo metal colour silver and some dark green to make myself a metallic green paint. And the car's given a couple of coats. There we go, that's starting to look really nice. Next, I'm using some masking tape to tape off the rear of the car. And then I make myself some cream colored paint. Use some yellow and burnt umber and white. And here's the car after I've painted the rear and removed the masking. And I've started detailing it with some chrome there. I printed out some custom license plates and I'm just going to use a little bit of PVA glue to put them on. They're just printed on normal A4 paper and I use the same technique to make the badges which I put on the front and the rear of the car and you'll see those later. So that was given a couple of coats of gloss and left to cure and I could move on to the interior. 
It's quite a nicely detailed interior. I'm gonna give it a nicer paint job though. I start with some gray primer and I painted it with the same metallic green. And then I've detailed the interior with some cream there and some chrome. The base, I'm just gonna leave it unpainted, I think. The one thing I'm going to do though is just to file out the gullies where the axles will go because the axles on the wheels I'm going to use are a little bit larger than the original ones. The windscreen is just a little bit scuffed really so all I'm going to do to this is give it a jolly good polishing with some plastic polish. It's just the kind of polish you can get at auto shops for polishing your headlights. Here it is after I've finished. It's looking nice and glossy, shiny now. And finally for some wheels, here are the original axles and the base of the wheels. Whatever was on there originally is long gone, so I've got some green light, white walled sort of ones to replace them. So that's all the hard work done and here are all the parts of our little 55 Chevy Bel Air from the Reader's Digest magazine. Refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. And while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here it is as received from Will in the States looking a jolly mess with its missing wheels and a really scruffy chipped paint job. There's a really well detailed American classic hiding in there. Let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our finished, restored and customised high speed brand 1955 Chevy Bel Air right out of the pages of Reader's Digest. So I'm really pleased with how this car's come out. I think it looks great with that metallic green paint. All the detailings come out really neat. It was an awesome model to work on. Thank you so much, Will. I really enjoyed doing this car because all of the details were really sharp and enjoyable to paint. Whereas on some die cast, things can get a bit rough like there's not very sharp lines to paint for the details and stuff. Anyway, top-notch casting all around. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you have one of these from the Reader's Digest? Or remember seeing the ads for them and thinking you'd like them? And before I go, as always, a massive shout out to my awesome Patreons. Thanks heaps for helping to support the channel. You can check out the link below if you'd like to help out as well. Thanks heaps to Will for sending the car in and thanks heaps to you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see more similar stuff, remember to subscribe and give the video a like and share it with your friends. It really helps.